I grew up in a religious family. I grew up believing that the right to an abortion was wrong, and I was wrong. That's why I've worked hard, once I understood the truth, to fight for the right to access. Not everyone makes the same decision, but every woman should have a choice. And that's what we have to remember. That's the fundamental crux of this. It is not your choice, it is not his choice, it is a choice that should belong to every woman, and that's what we're fighting for. He very clearly said that he wanted to pass the most draconian anti-abortion legislation in the country, and he nearly got there. Unfortunately, Alabama has usurped that position. Whether you're looking at Alabama's law or Georgia's law, we knew that his intention was to strip away the bodily autonomy of women and to do so to fulfill a political promise. There are certainly conservatives who believe that the right to an abortion should not exist. But by and large, the South is reflective of a national belief, which is that women should have the right to control their bodies. We know that nationally, 65 to 70 percent of people believe in the right to an abortion, which means less than a quarter of the country thinks that you should strip away that right in its entirety. I think the compromise is that each woman gets to determine what she does. That's the compromise. But we cannot legislate health care away from women. We cannot take away their choices and take away the decision making that should occur between the woman and her doctor and her family if she chooses. But this notion that there is a compromised position is a fiction. The only real compromise is for government and politicians to say that we don't get to decide what a woman does with her body. The right to an abortion is a right. It is a decision that women can make to determine their futures, to determine their economic future, to determine their health care. It's a decision they make about how they control the creation of their family. Georgia also has more complicated issues. We have the highest black woman maternal mortality rate in the nation. Part of what that means is that the access to health care is already limited for women in the state of Georgia, especially black women. But when you add to this a bill that criminalizes women for seeking care and criminalizes doctors for providing that care, you put women's lives in jeopardy. This is wrong. We have the right to control our bodies, and anyone who seeks to interfere with that health care right, who seeks to interfere with the right to an abortion, should be held accountable. As an elected leader for more than 11 years, I am more than familiar with groups of men making decisions for women. But what I also know is that too often women are participating in electing these men and ceding power to them. And that's why I believe that the best way to fight back is to elect people who truly represent our values. Not every person who represents our values looks like us, but we also know that those who share our experiences are more likely to understand the constraints and the attacks. And that's why I work so hard to elect women, to elect women of color, to elect communities of color, to join in the diversity that should be our elected representation. Because when you have different voices at the table, you see better results for everyone. <music>